Hello people, this is self Turks and in this video we'll be learning about changing themes in your Sphinx documentation. So we'll be using read the docs theme which you see in most of the documentation for Python libraries or Python modules. So in the last video we have already created a Sphinx project using Sphinx quick start command line tool. So I'll go to my Linux terminal here and you can see this is the project that we have created or if you have a project of your own that will also look like this that there will be a make file there will be a make dot bat build directory and source directory so what i'll do here i'll try to run this project so that you can see the files that are being served so the build files are present inside cd build and inside that there is this html folder where all the build files are present so i'm using npm module that is watch http server to host my files that is these files are being hosted here from the web server itself so you can use any method of your own to serve these files now the files are being served so what i'll do i'll come to my browser here and this is a sample read the docs documentation kind of thing so this is the theme that we see on net these days for every python uh, documentation or module documentation so what i'll do i'll open this uh, uh the local server that we have hosted for our own sphinx project and this looks like this so it is very uh it is not good to look at or this documentation is not eye candy which means that it is not soothing to the eyes in and this one is looking good the fonts are good the layouts are good but this documentation theme which comes in built with sphinx documentation is not so much good so we will convert this documentation style to this one in very simple steps so i'll come to my slide here and you can see you need to go to github and you need to go to this particular uh, repository and then follow the steps to make your default theme that is alabaster in sphinx to that read the docs theme so uh, this is the repository so what i'll do i'll go to my browser here and here what i'll do i'll simply search read the docs theme in sphinx okay so i'll just search it or you can also search it from there only so this is the link that will come that is sphinx underscore rtd underscore theme so i'll open it and after opening it what i need to do i need to go below and here you have the installation steps or or the installation documentation now what i'll do i'll copy this particular line and i'll come to my linux box so here this is my folder where my sphinx project is working so this is the sphinx project file so i have i'm using a virtual environment so i'll activate it so your source vnb been activate so i'll activate this virtual environment and i'll fire this command now i'm using python 3.4 and which has python pip 3.4 as its package manager so i'll replace that pip with pip 3.4 and i'll do pip 3.4 install sphinx rtd theme what this will do this will go to the server that is python hosted files and that will download this particular uh, file from there means this theme files from there and we'll get the theme now i'll come to my project here that is sphinx learning so i'm using two windows here so this is window one this is window two okay and inside here you will see what you will see a file in source that is conf file now this conf file is for all the configuration related work for your sphinx documentation so what we need to do we need to use this particular line that is sphinx rtd theme which we have installed already and we'll come here at the bottom and there will be a theme section so see this is the html theme so this theme is alabaster which is being used currently now what i'll do i'll comment it and i'll copy this line i'll remove this pound symbol and i will replace that with sphinx rtd theme so that's it you downloaded the package using pip install sphinx rtd theme and then you need to just change this particular configuration that is change the name of this alabaster to sphinx rtd theme okay so this is done configuration is done now we need to again rebuild the documentation so we'll come here we are inside the same directory but i'm using two windows i'll activate my virtual environment here also so that i can build and then what i'll do i'll type make html so i'll run this command okay what it is saying no theme name sphinx okay there's a space present here so by mistake i've given a space 
So I'll again write this file and I'll come this side and I'll say make HTML. So this time we'll try to build it and this time the files have been built again and the server has been reloaded by using watch HTTP server. So I'll come here to my browser and you can see this is the current documentation and when I will reload it, it will change. So now you can see this is very good to look at. There is a left side left side there's a panel right side there's this documentation so now the font size is also good and it looks beautiful compared to the last theme so this was the process how to change your theme so that people can uh, people can find it easy to read your documentation it is eye soothing and then it is very good to look at this was how to change the alabaster theme which is the default theme in sphinx documentation to read the docs theme so hope you like this video hope you like my channel please subscribe to my channel and please share these videos with other people. Thank you.